Hey guys, Django here. Welcome to today's premium review in which we are taking a look at the Italian, or is it Hungarian? But anyway, it's in the Italian tree, the Italian BF110 G4, sitting at 3.7 battle rating, the fourth rank 3 premium for the Italian that is fleshing out nicely. Hopefully they will soon be adding something in rank 4 and maybe something in rank 5. And uh, rank 1 and 2 can also use some extra planes here. But um, this thing is a nice addition. Fantastic fighter. It is a night fighter. It has radar. Not much use in War Thunder except when you're on a night map. But, <laughs> but still a nice feature. But um, it has amazing firepower, this thing. In this match, I put on the uh, extra 20 millimeters, the secondary guns. Uh, and you have to start off with a with a mandatory pot uh, for 20 millimeters already but uh, I added a second set of pots you can also exchange the pots for bombs or rockets or combos but you've got to fly at least with that first uh, pot combo so you you get two 30 millimeters and two 20 millimeters at least and my data that I'm going to give to you are without this extra pot that's hanging underneath the belly of this plane um, so you know uh, it is a clean uh, loadout you ha because you have to take those spots, that first spot. So um, this is basically the performance of the plane clean of bombs, rockets or this secondary pot that I'm using in this plane. With, uh, and I will mention where this, uh, you know, benefits the plane or degrades the plane. In most situations it's not too good, but um, in some situations like this firepower, <laughs> shooting two P-38s in a row. <laughs> Yeah, baby, firepower. It's always nice. Go head on with this thing at your own peril. Anyway, what are the maximum speeds in this plane? At sea level without web, she goes up to 477 kilometers an hour and with web 491. At 4500 meters, this is 442 without web and 452 with. And finally, at 6,500 meters, she'll go up to 407 without web and 415 with. This is in indicated airspeed without mech. The top speeds in a dive are actually quite decent. 708 kilometers an hour before she redlines and 750 when she rips apart. Now that is a very small window. Most planes only rip after they go a hundred kilometers or about that point over the red line with this plane it's 42 kilometers so when she's redlining you've got to move fast because uh, she will rip in no time especially if you are in a steep dive so be aware of that the control stiffening in this plane now there is something to mention um, you get a big uh, tick in the maneuverability in the roll rate at 500 kilometers an hour but she already starts bad. The roll rate in this plane is bad. And thus when you get that tick it becomes atrocious basically. And the high compression above 550 kilometers an hour also affects the elevator. Uh, and then if you have this extra gun pot underneath. It weighs you down even more giving you an insane compression making it very difficult to get out of dives at high speed dives and uh, you need a lot of air between you and the ground if you want to pull out of a dive at that point so be aware of that uh, she compresses very highly above 550 and if you have the gun pots underneath like i do right here in this match then you got to be extra extra careful the stall speed in this plane is actually quite nice with 125 kilometers an hour, actually uh, quite above average, maybe even decent. The firepower in this plane is fan freaking tastic with two 30 millimeter MK 108 uh, 30 millimeters with uh, 120 in one gun and 135 rounds in the other gun. You have uh, four 20 millimeter uh, cannons, the MG 151s, which a Schrage pair that that's pointing upwards have 240 rounds, and the forward facing guns have the one has 400 and the other has 350. The turret you also have that with uh, 
uh, machine guns uh, 81s with uh, 750 rounds per gun and you have two guns facing backwards now you can add to this with this extra setup there that's hanging underneath that is another two mg 151 cannons with 100 round each so yeah the firepower is fantastic and the ammo load is great except for that extra pot under your belly it only gives 100 rounds so it's debatable whether that's useful but uh, i <laughs> i only noticed it a little bit later but ah, more 20 millimeters yeah let's take it you don't actually need it and the performance is much better when you have them when you don't have it on so uh, acceleration in a straight line is above average with these um, without these gun pods in a dive it's actually good energy retention in the horizontal is decent and in the vertical it's average now if you take these extra 20 millimeters with the weight of the guns and the little bit of ammo it has uh, that vertical energy retention becomes uh, from average to bad basically it really does not help you have two powerful engines and um, uh, the, both of them together exceed the engine power of the um, Thunderbolts. So it's, uh, the plane is, I think, I don't, I don't know if this plane is actually bigger. <laughs> that's actually a good question, but it has good engine power. That's why it performs so good. The climb rate is actually good in this plane, believe it or not. Without anything else, no rockets, no, no bombs, no nothing, the, the, uh, it really performs nice in the, in the climb rate. And uh, you can get up to altitude, altitude fairly quickly. She can uh, climb at a 20% angle, basically, which is, uh, which is uh, up until 6,500 meters. Now, for a heavy fighter, that is, that is good. The turn time in this plane is bad, though. And uh, below average with flaps, you can uh, deploy them. They rip off at 560 kilometers an hour, which is actually quite decent, as we uh, get an ace in one of my first matches in this thing. Devastating firepower. If you get the guns on somebody, they will explode with uh, with all this firepower. It's fantastic. That's nice about the gun pod, the extra gun pod underneath. Uh, it only has a hundred rounds, but for the first few encounters, well, uh, maybe four or five encounters, you you can, uh, if you're a little bit uh, trigger patient, you can wreck everything with uh, four twenty millimeters and two thirty millimeters. So yeah, awesome. Um, so yeah, that turn time uh, is bad. The roll rate is also bad, especially when you have to go over the top. So the as you sh just saw now, at a certain speed, 350 we were at, I think. The first part goes well, but then when you have to go over the top, it becomes very slow and really bad. Uh, so overall maneuverability in this plane is bad. Overheating is uh, also not too good with web uh, it's actually bad it needs attention it does um, heat up very quickly when you use the war emergency power without the war emergency power use you can uh, you have it a little bit better than bad it's just uh, below average then so yeah but she does overheat and it does need some attention that's for sure durability in this plane is good um, he uh, can take uh, a good amount of damage he also has two engines, so if one gets damaged or destroyed, you can go a long way to get her home. Uh, manages it. I, I've managed it twice with one engine, so that that is good. And uh, yeah, du uh, durability, survivability is uh, is good in this plane. It has a lot of armor on her. That makes that's also why the compression is so bad. She has armor plates everywhere, protecting everything. Uh, of course, a night fighter made for attacking bombers and stuff like that. Uh, she was supposed to fly through a lot of uh, shrapnel, machine gun bullets, all in all. Uh, she needed some protection and she got it. She, she's really weighed down by, uh, by that armor. But yeah, you do have good protection and survivability in a plane and, and uh, very durable. So overall I really like this plane, it is uh, a good support fighter, she is very good in a, in a boom and zoom roll and she can get there because she can actually climb and together with uh, some extra um, main fighters in your team, to, we're flying three heavy fighters here but uh, if you have a, a team setup, 
uh, with uh, a few uh, fighters and a few heavy fighters you can wreak havoc you can really make a difference with this plane and if you're flying solo you just have to look for uh, being at fringes and swooping in when people have uh, their trouble and um, you can save them <laughs> with some good old firepower and because in, in a dogfight this thing cannot uh, cannot compete as we see a thunderbolt here which is not particularly good in a dogfight when it loses a bit of speed and she already turned a few times but um, it is way more maneuverable than me so yeah you can imagine the maneuverability in this plane is not too great but she's a boom and zoomer she can uh, be a bomber hunter as well and a support fighter coming from the fringes and uh, attacking planes that are in dogfights and stuff like that you don't want to be the focal point of a dogfighter and uh, uh, not even a thunderbolt so let alone a dogfighter or a more maneuverable plane which are pretty much all other fighters <laughs> out there uh, compared to a thunderbolt so yeah can't compete with a thunderbolt can't compete with most other fighters there is that but if people want to go head on with you <laughs> big thumbs up okay let's look what what do we have in rewards for this match uh, final blow survivor the best squad terror of the sky 100 11,000 silver lions and 14,000 research points. Uh, quite nice. We got a first place in the team in that match. Which the whole team did well. Only one kill outside our team. Hey guys, so here we are after the match. Now this uh, Hungarian-Italian heavy fighter, the BF-110 G4. It's a nice addition to the Italian tree. 3.7 battle rating, lots of firepower. Uh, great brawler and uh, support fighter boom and zoomer um, excellent plane uh, not too great in the maneuverability though bad actually uh, durability is very good overheating is a little bit of an issue and of course you have the compression which you gotta keep in mind uh, keep lots of air between you and the ground especially when you're diving on somebody because uh, you will rip um, and yeah, we're uh, talking about ripping, you, or you will compress, I meant, and about ripping, that is also a danger in the plane with that top speed and the rip speed only laying 42 kilometers an hour away from each other. And you know how far you can go sometimes in the lower ends of a dive. So 42 kilometers is not a lot of time to pull out of that dive and get the speeds under control. So that is also one of the main things to, to think about compression and that short difference between the red line speed and the rip speed got to be aware of that for the rest guys this is uh, your typical bf 110 two great engines in there and uh, good performance don't take that extra gun pot as i did it gives you extra firepower yes but you don't really need it and it does give you an extra bump in the negative to your performance and to some of the issues that this plane has like the compression and um, extra danger of ripping but anyway guys uh, it's a good plane i think she's a nice addition uh, you do have the duck at 3.3 but the duck is in performance much less than this and they have different roles the duck really is for ground attacking and this plane it's really is a fighter in my opinion uh, you don't have to use this for ground attacking she can she can be used very well as a heavy fighter Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment. And if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.